So I'm from Southern Indiana. It's like, they call it Kentuckiana. I was one of five kids to go out of state for college. When I came here, I immediately felt a lot less intelligent than my other counterparts because I wasn't as prepared. I started pursuing business because I thought that I really like talking to people, I like learning about people, and that could help me connect like the science with real people. Wink started because I wanted longer eyelashes. My natural lashes started to become shorter because of the weight of the eyelash extensions that I was having individually applied. So then I started trying to test other products on the market because I really wanted my eyelashes to grow back. None of the products worked for me, unfortunately, and I wasn't about to get a prescription. So then I decided to make my own product. I kind of looked at what other companies were doing and where those elements could come from in nature. In MIT, you're taught that you can do anything. You're also taught that you don't know anything, but People here solve any kind of problem. They solve all kinds of new problems. So I figured I could look at a problem that someone had already solved and do it myself. We market it at middle-aged women to help them regrow their eyelashes or eyebrows that have fallen out over time. It's powerful to give these women hope. Being a geek in the cosmetics industry has allowed me to actually move forward and make change. I don't have to lie, I don't have to bullshit. We actually put out products that work and it's allowed me to address problems that otherwise the cosmetics industry would have ignored. I believe that you can still make a lot of money in the cosmetics industry if you're not making images that are supposed to hurt people or make people feel bad about themselves. Just because we take away that one specific image that you should attain doesn't mean that the cosmetics industry is going to go away or lose money or any of that. As disposable income rises, women are gonna spend more money on cosmetics regardless. And I don't think that that's necessarily because they feel bad about themselves, but because I think that it's an expression of their own personality. It's amazing how much people and interpersonal dynamics matter and coming here you never would have thought that that's what you would learn but that's almost all that I've learned. For me being a geek is taking whatever you're best at and just pursuing it. If you pursue that and if you can find a way to use that more power to you. Being a geek is sexy. Being passionate about anything is sexy. IQ is the new GQ. Follow your dreams and be yourself. Don't be afraid along the way.